In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends in Lord Jesus, today the Holy Mother Church is happy to celebrate the feast of the dedication of St. John Lateran Basilica. This basilica is situated in Rome and in this basilica is the seat of Pope who is the Bishop of Rome. So therefore this church or basilica is the mother of all the Catholic church churches throughout the world. So therefore, as we celebrate the dedication of this Lateran Basilica, so also we celebrate the dedication of our own churches wherever we are present. And it was gifted or given by Constantine the Great when he announced Christianity as the official religion of the state of Rome. So therefore, in this Holy Mass, let us thank and praise God for his presence, abiding presence with us in this church and for his continual blessings upon us through this church. At the same time, let us pray to God so that we may always derive his graces and for his uh, blessings whenever we take part and participate in the Holy Eucharist as the Assembly of God. And to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner, let's now recollect to our minds all our sins and ask for God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Mm-hmm. 
us pray O God from living and chosen stones prepared an eternal dwelling for your majesty increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever please take the old testament page 994 A reading from the book of Ezekiel chapter 47 verses 1 2 8 and 9 and verse 12 Water flowing from the temple Then he brought me back to the entrance of the temple there water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple towards the east for the temple faced east and the water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple south of the altar then he brought me out by way of the north gate and led me around on the outside of the outer gate that faced towards the east and the water was coming out on the south side was eight then he said to me This water flows towards the east eastern region and goes down to the Araba and when it enters the sea the sea of stagnant waters the water will become fresh wherever the river goes every living creature that swarms will live and there will be many fish once these waters reach there it will become fresh and everything will live where the river goes verse 12 On the banks of both sides of the river there will grow all kinds of trees for food their leaves will not wither nor their fruit fail but they will bear fresh fruit every month because the water from them flows from the sanctuary their fruit fruit will be for food and their leaves for healing the word of the lord a response to the psalm is The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in times of distress. So we shall not fear through the earth should rock. Though the mountains fail and the depths of the sea responds, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The Lord of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of the river give joy to the earth city. The holy place where the most high dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help us at the dawning of the day. Response: The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on earth. Response: The God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Second reading is from the New Testament, page 167. a reading from the first letter of paul to the corinthians chapter 3 verses 9 to 11 and 16 and 17 for we are god's servants working together you are god's field god's building according to the grace of god given to me like a skilled master Master builder I laid a foundation and someone else is building on it each builder must choose with care how to build on it for no one can lay any foundation 
other than the one that has been laid that foundation is Jesus Christ do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you if anyone destroys God's temple God will destroy that person for God's temple is holy and you are that temple the word of the Lord can we stand for the gospel chosen and consecrated this house says the Lord chosen and consecrated this house that my name may be there forever Gospel reading, kindly turn to page 93, page 93. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Chapter 2, verses from 13 to 22. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here, stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. Then the Jews the Jews then said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body after he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of our Lord. My dear people of God, today we celebrate the dedication of the Lateran Basilica of St. John, which is in church. This church is the mother church of all the Catholic churches throughout the world. So therefore today, as we celebrate the dedication of the Lateran Basilica, so also we celebrate the dedication of our own church, because whenever the church is built, it is consecrated to God, along with the people of God, the bishop does this work. So therefore we also celebrate the dedication of our own churches wherever we are and coming to today's first reading we have seen a great vision of prophet Ezekiel in his vision he saw the life-giving spring which flow below the sanctuary and as he entered outside 
and wherever it went it gave life to all the plants and to all kinds of creatures and this is very much as god to do with us because the sacraments that which are there in the church are a spring of life or life giving water because the sacraments give us the grace of god and spiritual nourishment for our souls so therefore the sacraments are life giving waters which flow in and through to the believers of god and second most important thing we need to remember in our life the temple or the church is the holy place and a dwelling place for god we see in the old testament god abiding with his people as he was in the ark of the covenant the ark of the covenant had the manna the staff of aaron and the 10 commandments tablet so therefore god was always with his people in the temple in the form of ark of the covenant so also we see the presence of jesus and god in the new testament times in the form of tabernacle because jesus is there with us in the form of eucharist always nourishing us and blessing us as he is there at all times with us in the church in the form of the holy eucharist so therefore dear friends we need to thank god for his ever abiding presence with us as he is there always for us to bless us and to protect us and one more important aspect we need to remember on this feast day is an intimate bond exists between a parishioner and his parish church because he has got his rights and also he has got his duties towards the church towards his parish church when we take the life of jesus we also see jesus enjoying both his duties and also his rights towards the temple because we have seen in today's gospel reading he fulfilled his obligation as he cleansed the temple when it was defiled and also he paid temple tax so also whenever he had time it is said in the scripture that he was regularly visiting the temple on sabbath day praying over there and preaching to the people of god so therefore jesus enjoyed both his rights and duties whenever he entered the temple of god so therefore today as we celebrate this great feast let us apply to ourselves and see are we enjoying the rights which are there to us in the church at the same time are we also discharging the duties what we have towards the church and let's also thank god in this holy mass for his presence with us and for blessing us in and through the church at the same time let us pray to god that we may maintain the decency the decorum of this church because in today's second reading we have seen st paul saying do you not know that you are god's temple and god's spirit dwells in you and if anyone destroys god's temple god will destroy that person so therefore not only the church but also even our body becomes the temple of god wherein we can experience the loving presence and the living presence of god almighty so therefore let us pray so that we may always experience the power and the presence of god both in our body so also in the church where we are may god bless us all
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as a temple of the Holy Spirit supported by the perpetual help of your grace and splendid with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosan in the highest. Blessed is you, come, son and name of the Lord, Hosan in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Tuma Bala Raj Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At our Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I wish you all a very happy feast. Thank you. Now let's all rise for the final prayer. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the signs of your church on earth, grant we pray that by partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is celebrated. Go in peace to love and serve Christ. Amen.